Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Shakur Stevenson and his project Danger 1 to Davis will beat Rolando Romero by murder when the two battle in out in their WBA order fight in April or May. Stevenson believes that the only way Tank Davis can be beaten is by him facing a special fighter, and he feels that an acquired guy like Rowley won't be capable of accomplishing that. The WBA recently ordered Jervon to Davis to defend his WBA regular lightweight title against number one ranked Rolly Romero next. Negotiations have been ordered to start and should be hearing an announcement soon from their promoters at Mayweather Promotions for the date location and network information. The 26-year-old Roland Romero has the size and power to potentially beat Tank Davis, but he hasn't faced at the level of opposition needed to prepare him for this boat. These are all his best wins. Avery Sparrow, Anthony Igit and Jackson Marinus Tank by murder. I feel like Rowley has never been in there with anyone like Tank said Shakur Stevenson to his news in predicting a win for Gervonta Davis over Rolando Romero. I feel like Tank is a special fighter, and the only way to beat Tank is another special fighter in front of him, Shakur continued. Other fighters that aren't on that level and are off guard or whatever, they're just going to get up and get in there and get bit up, said Stevenson. Joseph Diaz vs. Juan Pitbull Cross Former IBF Super Wizard Weight Champion Joseph Diaz says he'd like to fight highly ranked lightweight contender Isaac Cruz next. Jojo Diaz Jr.'s promoters at Golden Boy Promotions might not be willing to have him walk the plank against the younger 23 year old Pitbull Cross. That would be a bad career move potentially if Golden Boy let 29 year old Jojo fight Pitbull Cross. Both fighters are coming off recent defeats in world title fight at 135 last December, but Jojo Diaz looked sluggish, bloated and not an elite level fighter in his loss. However, there is a huge difference in how well the 33-year-old Pitbull Cruz performed in his narrow 12th round unanimous decision loss to Tank Davis. On December 5th, in comparison to Jojo Diaz, lackluster defeat and the hands of WBC champion Devin Haney on December 4th. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 100 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. Watch the end of the video and like it. Thanks, guys. Devin Haney focused on George Cambos's junior fight. Devin Haney is back in the picture for undisputed lightweight champion George Cambosos Jr.'s next fight in June. According to Chris Mannix, WBC lightweight champion Devin's dad, Bill Haney, says money will not be an obstacle for them negotiating a fight with Cambosos. This week, Mannix, who works for Dozen, reported that the negotiations between Cambosos Jr. and Haney had stalled due to Devin not agreeing to the financial package. At the time, Vasily Lomachenko and Ryan Garcia were two fighters that Cambosos had a good chance of fighting next in the first defense of his four 135-pound titles. Cambosos said early on Saturday that he wants to fight the best, and his focus is on facing either Haney or Lomachenko next in a stadium fight in Australia. Between those two, it will come down to which of them has the better financial offer for Cambosos because he wants to make the most money possible for his first defense as the new undisputed lightweight champion. Cambosos, 28, won his four titles last November with a 12th round unanimous decision win over previously unbeaten Teofimo Lopez. Although it was an impressive performance by Cambosos, Teofimo looked out of sorts physically due to a lung problem and the effects of loading a massive amount of water weighed to get down to the 135-pound limit for the weight-in. 
Like I have said countless times, Chris Mannix, I want the best challenger to give the world the best fight possible. Haney, Mushroom Boxing, Lomachenko Top Rank Boxing, say George Cambosos. It takes a two to tango, so let's get this done as up. The stadium in Australia waits, and still, said Cambosos. Ryan Garcia no longer appears to be in the picture for Cambosos Jr. the next fight, as the Australian focusing now on either Lomachenko or Haney. They are Haney fans who feel that he deserves the fight against Cambosos because he holds the WBC lightweight title. They also felt that Lomachenko had his chance and lost his title to Teofimo by a 12th round decision in October 2020. However, Loma fought with an unjarred right shoulder, which limited him to using his left hand throughout much of the fight. Shortly after the fight, which Lomachenko lost by a 12th round decision, he had shoulder surgery. In coming back from his shoulder problem, Lomachenko has looked as good as ever, beating Richard Kami and Masayoshi Nakatani. The way Loma performed in these two fights, he looked much better than Haney or Kambosos Jr. The way Lomachenko is fighting now, he would easily defeat Devin or Kambosos, if given the chance. Haney is a winnable fight for Kambosos. If that's his focus to find an opponent that he can beat, Haney is by far the better option for him than Loma. Few boxing fans believe Cambosos Jr. would have any shot at beating Loma. When Teofimo was fighting hard and not struggling with his stamina, he was battering Cambosos and making it look easy. The way that Cambosos looked in many of the rounds against Teofimo, he would lose to Haney, Lomachenko and even Ryan Garcia. Cambosos rules out Ryan Garcia fight. Sure you're a buddy, so you're too war? You're the kind soldier that would be shivering in their boots, hitting away in a cave until the horse finish it, said Cambosos Jr. to Ryan Garcia. Sean Jones would be shocked at this point if Cambosos Jr. fights Lomachenko, because that's a step too far. While it's great that Cambosos beat the Andre Teofimo Lopez last November, he is probably not going to have any success against a healthy Lomachenko. Loma would be to fight deal. Devin wants what he wants, said Mannix. All I can tell you is that the people that have been involved with Cambosos have been able to, not in agreement per sure, but are on the same page as far as money goes to make a Cambosos, Lomachenko fight happen. They are not on the same page as far as money goes to make a Cambosos, Haney, fight happen said Chris Mannix. According to Hearn, Eddie said that Devin would be going into this fight solely to really capture these belts, and obviously he is not going to take crumbs and peanuts. But shifting gears, credit to Kambosos if he willing to go into a fight with Lomachenko. That Loma that just came from a Richard Comey fight, the first time defending those belts. I mean, obviously Kambosos wants to ride this wave. I'm not saying he's Kambosos, a one-hit wonder. I'm not saying that, but I really want to defend you all titles against a guy like Lomachenko right away. If I'm a manager, I'm against that. It will just be a one-off. It's a two-fight deal with Lomachenko and as well, said Mannix about Cambosos having the chance to fight Lomachenko in a rematch if he were to lose. There will be a rematch clause and well but in that contract with Lomachenko, said Chris Mannix. You can argue that the only point of having a two-fight deal with Loma is for Cambosos to get a second payday after he gets obliterated in the first fight. Loma will train in Australia. Lomachenko has expressed not only interest to go to Australia, but from what I've been told from Lomachenko's side, he would do his wild running camp in Australia, said Chris Mannix. He would not effectively move there, but he would be a citizen basically for 6 to 8 weeks, whatever he needs for his training camp. To kind of boil it down, there are a lot of synergies when it comes to the talks between Loma and Cambosos, and another type of synergy that you need to make a fight happen between Haney's side and Cambosos, said Manix. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.